guys, it's Elise and welcome back to my channel. Now, today's video is going to be something I need to talk to you guys about. It is things that I've been obsessed with the entire year of 2019 and um, I'm here in 2020 to tell you what I've been obsessed with, what I think you guys should try out if you haven't already. So we're just going to give it our best damn shot. So I'm looking at my table and I'm overwhelmed about how much stuff I pulled from my collection of things. And so grab yourself a snack, bitch, because like, there's a lot of stuff here. There's stuff from fashion to wigs to eyeshadow palettes to hair tools to skincare. Bitch, we've got it all. So let's start off and we'll work our way down, I guess. I don't know. Maybe I'll just, okay. I don't know. We'll just start pulling things. How about that? Okay. So first, let's start with hair. You might have seen this float around on Instagram and um, boy was I drawn to this advertisement, so I bought it. <laughs> um, this is the Mermaid Hair Waver. It is huge, like, first off, it's huge. Okay, it's the size of my fucking face, okay? <laughs> but it is the best waver. It's not a crimper. There is two different things. Crimper is more like 80s, like, woo, rock. Um, I don't know if that's the right term, but it is more 80s. Whereas a waver is big waves, which you might have seen me wear lately. Um, and I'm obsessed with the way it looks. I love the way that my hair looks in it. I love that little kink at the front of, the, of the, the hair. Oh, I love it. And this is what I use to do that. This heats up to 210 degrees Celsius, so it gets super, super hot. It comes with a nice hot pink glove, super fun. So I love this. I highly recommend it. Um, and it's not that bad a price. You can get it on Afterpay, which is what I did. So like, Hallelujah. Okay, let's talk skincare since I can see it right here in front of me. So um, um, in late 2019, I was like, you know what? We are going to make 2020 the year of skincare. But like knowing me, I just was like, you know what? We're going to start now. And then I've been obsessed with some products. So we're going to share those with you right now. So the first one is the Ole Hendrickson. I think that's how you say it. Um, Transform Sheer Perfection Perfecting Moisturizer. This is amazing. I lay this down before I put on any foundations, anything like that, before I start my makeup. I love this. It has like a, I think it smells like PVA glue. I don't know, but I'm obsessed with it. It is so, so good. And oh, I can't say enough good things about it. It is the best. So, so like you could, you could use this as a primer, but everyone knows I always go in with a primer anyway. So, I love this, super, super good. Also from that same brand, Ole Hendrickson, this is the Banana Bright Eye Cream. Doesn't matter what age you are, I think you should start using an eye cream. I wish I did that when I was around like 16. Um, I'm obsessed with this. This, like usually you can see like, oh, there's the eye bags, that's where they are. But ever since I started using this, I haven't noticed that myself. So I'm obsessed with this. Um, it does have like a, like a fruity scent, it kind of smells like fruit cake like at Christmas time, but like I don't have a problem with that. And it is everything, bitch. Like, oh obsessed get it you need it and then a more expensive product is another moisturizer and it's the Tatcha water cream this is so expensive this is like one of the most expensive things like for beauty that I own like <sighs> pricey I think it's like a hundred and something dollars for a cream yeah bitch it's that expensive but because it is just the best <laughs> like uh, over th these two like this is like the best one but this is such a close second so you know if you don't want to fork out the money for the Tatcha one he's your best friend that guy I guess this goes along with skincare but it's like not skincare um uh, is the Clinique take the day off balm this is the best makeup remover in the world I love it it's so so good so basically what it is is a big thick balm huge balm you only need a little bit a little bit of this goes a really long way you just kind of melt it down in your hands a little bit on your makeup and then just start rubbing your makeup off and it disintegrates all the makeup just melts it all and then I just take a wet cloth and I just wipe it off and I'm done put on some cleanser then on my creams and I'm good to go so I'm obsessed with this you need it in your life Clinique take the day off balm change my life no more Neutrogena makeup wipes although those are still fucking fire this is it. Also, if I do happen to have a pimple, um, I just use the Clarisil Action Pads. Um, they're just these little, like, cotton pads that have whatever the Clearasil soak them in. And then I just take one and I wipe it all over my face and your face feels so dehydrated and then I go in with my creams. <laughs> um, but it gets rid of my pimples and I swear by it. Like, no more of this beep, 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 beep. 
No more Mario Badescu like drying lotion. Trust me, I've tried them all. This has helped me a lot. Super, super into this. Get amongst it. Let's do fashion really quick, okay? Because there's only a few items that I want to share with you guys. Firstly, my best friend. This is my Jessie wig. I bought it because I was looking for a Jessie wig for my wasabi costume. Um, and this is her now. I got her on Etsy from a store called Estelle Wigs and More and it is everything. It's a lace front wig, okay, it's got clips, it's got an adjuster at the back. Oh, I love it. Like I have tons of wigs just up here and up here and this is my favourite one. I hardly ever grab any of the other ones but this one. So. This has got a special place in my heart. This is coming to the UK with me. All right, it's super long. It's synthetic hair. You can straighten it, you can curl it. You probably see me have it both straightened and curled. Um, and I'm just obsessed with it. It is the best, I love it. It's got a special place in my heart, so. You will win a beach. Obviously I'm not gonna mention all of Pretty Little Thing X Little Mix, but like, this shoe? is one, the most comfiest out of all the boots in the collection. Two, is the most me out of the collection. And it is just stunning, okay? I love it. This is supposed to be a scrunch boot, but because I have kind of a wide calf, they're not really scrunch boots on me, but that's everything because they still fit. So, I love these. There's a weight to it, it's hefty, and oh, I love it, look at this thing. Oh. These ones I bought for my wasabi costume, and they're just black leather thigh-high boots. Heeled, stunning, I love them. They're from Pretty Little Thing as well. I feel like Pretty Little Thing make great shoes. Um, and then, I just love them. They come with dust protectors, not that I use them anymore, but they're just amazing. Incredible, look amazing, make my legs look amazing. I just, oh. Buy these, just buy them. These are like my favorite pieces from Pretty Little Thing X Little Mix, so I'm gonna share them with you. Have a guess what the first one's gonna be. <laughs> so this is the pink snake dress. Pink snake dress. I love this. This is my favorite piece out of the entire collection. Oh my God, it's amazing. There's little plastic bones in the sides to give you some shape. Oh. I love it, I love it. Buy this, you need it in your life. Oh my God, the blazer's fire too, but the dress. And then the last thing I love, is what I wore to my own 21st birthday party. <laughs> and it is the mesh diamante dress. I love this. Everyone told me at my 21st birthday party that they loved this. And I was, they're like, what the hell is that? And I'm like, it's a pitta little thing, it's a little mix, what else would it be? <laughs> But oh my god, I'm obsessed with it. I just wore it with a slip underneath it. Did, you can do shapewear, but I just did a slip. Amazing. Stunning. Gorgeous. The things that this dress saw on that night. Be crazy, but we love it. Really quickly, this fragrance. I got this for Christmas and I haven't stopped wearing it. It is the best. It's Kim Kardashian Body 2 Perfume. It is the best smelling perfume. I don't know how to describe it. It's like coconutty, but also super fruity. And then I can see the floral. It is just... I love it and it lingers all day. Let's do some makeup now. Okay, I've got tons of it because you guys know I love to try makeup, buy makeup, collect makeup, have makeup, use makeup, style makeup, all the things. So starting off, we'll start with some brushes I love. Now, if you don't own these brushes in your life, you need them. These are the same brush. They're just two. One of them is a different brand. It's the Jaclyn Hill version. But it is the Morphe M510 brush, M510, and it's a highlighting brush. It is the best highlighting brush ever. Like I have, I have this one, um, which is also classified as a highlighter brush, it's an M501 brush, but I love this more. It's just, I don't know what it is, the way that distributes the product, the way it makes highlighter look on your face. It's just, it's this brush. This brush is what I need. That's why I have four of them. I don't know where the fourth one is, but I do have four of them. Um, three of these ones, one of these ones. So good. Get these brush, get this, get this, get this, get this, get this. And another Morphe brush I'm into, and I used to use like a BH Cosmetics one for it, but then I got this one and it's life changed me forever. And this is the Morphe E62 brush. It is a nose contouring brush. It's what I do to snatch this nose. It is the best. I don't use anything else anymore. 
this is the one don't fuck with anything else this is it okay it's nice and tapered easy to just go straight down here with the bronzer or the contour all the way up into the brow bone there pinch it off right here blend it out done snatched easy in like five seconds like so good I'm the queen of eyeliner I try a lot of eyeliners and if anyone ever puts out an eyeliner I need to try it so um, my favorite one this year was the NYX Vinyl Liner. This is a very black liquid liner. It's got a brush tip. It's super, super black. And it is comes out fast and it's black every time. And there's no skipping. I love this. Close second, even in the same packaging, is the LMX one. Um, I love this. This is my favorite thing from the brand LMX. It is so good. Again, so black gives you a lovely flick it's black every time it's not the best over glitter I've noticed but if you're not doing glitter this is your best friend I love it I love it I love it a lot a different type of liner is a pen liner this one's from house laboratories which is Lady Gaga's makeup line and it is super 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 sharp well not sharp like ow but like sharp as in the point so sharp and it is black every time as well no skipping no nothing like that it's such a good product i highly recommend it so good buy it and then a different type of eyeliner is a cold pencil and i'm really into lmx one i have two of them it is the line up pencil it is so so good buy it you need it you need it you need it it's very black it's beautiful for tight lining beautiful for doing a lovely waterline right here it is so good you need it like buy it <laughs> So, so good. More eyeliners, but these are more fun and they can be used for multiple purposes. But these are the Super Beauty Hydro Effects water activated liners. These are so fun to use and they are like neon. Like, oh my god. I love it. The green one is my favorite. I'm going to be wearing it with my wasabi costume. Absolutely. Um, so, all you got to do is just spray your brush with like Fix Plus or dunk it in some water, mix it around in here, and you're good to go. It is the best. So, this one is the green one. It's called Fanny Pack. This one is the pink one. It's called Watermelon Felon. And then this one is the yellow one, and it's called Dance Party. So good. Uh, oh, so good. Let's do glitter because I see a lot of it here because so many people will put out glitter this year. Okay. So, firstly, we want to say hello to Trixie Cosmetics. Trixie Cosmetics is the best for glitter. Like, I love glitter. And Trixie Cosmetics put out many types of glitter. They put out, but these are the bigger, like, showgirl glitters, the bigger ones. These are my two of my favorites. They're basically the same thing, but in purple and pink. Um, so this is Skipper, and it's a bigger glitter. It shines green when the light hits it. And then this is the Lava Lamp one, and it shines green also when the light hits it, but it's purple. And it is everything. I love those. My favorite things from Trixie Cosmetics so far are these guys. These are the sparkles. These are amazing. Um, these are like cosmetic grade glitter. Put them on your eyes. Look amazing in them. Although you can put those bigger ones on your eyes. You just got to be a risk taker. Um, this is my favorite one. It is a absolutely like Nickelodeon green slime color. And it's called Slime Time. It is amazing like so green so finely milled so soft it doesn't irritate the eye oh my god so good but of course i've done looks on all of these on my makeup instagram if you haven't checked it out you can go check it out it's just elise wheeler beauty but this is lemon bar which is a yellow glitter that has like a gold to it so good this is 1969 this is a beautiful pink glitter this is carol ann which is a silver glitter stunning this is my, another one of my favorites, Malibu, which is a blue glitter. And this one I use as highlighter a bunch. This is called Marshmallow and it's a white glitter. Oh my God, so amazing. Since we're talking about glitter, not only did Trixie put out a makeup line this year, but so did Willem, another one of my favorite drag queens. So obviously I, I bought everything in the line. <laughs> So uh, these are my favorite things from the line. These are the glitter jellies. These are incredible. Like I know a bunch of you guys go to festivals and you put glitter on your face. This is what you need. It's already got the glitter, like the glitter, like adhesive in it. You just whack it on. It's so amazing. So this one's called Roller Rink. This is my most used one. It is a white glitter that is like holographic. So, so fun. And then this one I like to use on my eyes a bunch. This one's called Goldie. And it's got like stars and like these weird hexagons and then these like gold actual glitter in it. 
Oh my god, I love this product. Um, Willem also has two other colors, which I don't really use that often because they need to be for a specific look. But this is a blue one called Blue Balls, and this one's called Gem, and it's a pink one. I really want to use this one next. Um, but I'll show you this. So this is Roller Rink. So what I do is I just take my finger and I just hit it on where I put my highlighter. It is so fun and like you can put it all over your body like you can have so much fun with this oh stunning I got that all in my hair but like again you just tap it on and Bob's your uncle it's done like oh, put way too much on this side you guys but you get it right it's stunning. So I love glitter jelly. Super, super great. Well, everyone knows my lip combo, but I'm just gonna share it with you because it's literally what I wear every single time I put makeup on. So it is either one of these two lip liners. This is the Kylie Cosmetics Brown Sugar Lip Liner. I've used this so much. There's only about this much lip liner actually in this again, and they haven't restocked this in such a long time, so. Anyway, that's that. And then a close second to that is a Kim Kardashian X Mario one. This is in the shade Beauty Icon and it is a like true, it is like a true, true brown. It is so amazing. I line my lips with that every single time and then I go in with this combo, which is Celebrity Skin mixed with I'm Nude from Jeffree Star. And then once it's dried a little bit, I throw on Drug Lord, which is a white lipstick, and I just mix it up and it gives me the most perfect shade of all time, like of all time. And if I'm not wearing that combo, I'm wearing the, basically the same thing, but with different products, which is this lip liner from Kim Kardashian West X Mario. And then that same lipstick from that collab, which is called He's a Mixer, which is why I bought it, um, which is this lipstick right here put that on and then I throw on a teeny bit of this just to lighten it a bit because this is a bit brown and then I hit it with this gloss from Kim Chi Chic Beauty which is a high key gloss in the shade natural it is such a stunning gloss like you could wear this but on its own because it's so pigmented but oh this is amazing and it's not sticky and it's like it, it it's so good. Just trust me on it, okay? We're almost there, you guys. Almost there. These are my favorite LMX lip products because all the browns are very warm and I'm not a very a warm lip person. Like, this is as warm as I get. Um, and those lips do not give me those. But these, this red is fire. This is called Cherry Pie. Like, look at this. So this is a matte lip, okay? so good and then this is the gloss I use over the top of it called Sun Dancer and it's such a pigmented gloss too and it makes that red lip look even better than that already does by itself amazing so get this highlighter is the brain freeze Jeffree Star Pro palette this is everything especially this color right here called gold breaker I use it every single time I put do my makeup without it fail I love it I love it Jeffree Star Skin Frosts are incredible. You need to try one in your life. And lastly, eyeshadow palettes. Now, I have that many eyeshadow palettes, it's insane. So to narrow it down to like four was hard, but we've got a ton, so stay with me. Kim Chi Chic Beauty, this is the Rainbow Shards palette. I'm wearing this actually right now. This is everything, okay? So you've got your neutrals from all my basic bitches out there. And then you've got your fun colors when you want to just throw a bit of pop of color in there so that's what I did today I was like you know what we're not using any browns today we're gonna use these fun colors so I went in with watermelon then I went in with blueberry that made a purple color then I threw on ocean blue as my lid color fierce fire I love this and it's got a fun mirror so we love this should we talk about more eyeshadow palettes you guys more basic bitches, Anastasia Soft Glam. I got this because Heidi kept tagging it for the bounce back looks and because I was recreating, that's why I bought it, but it is still an amazing palette. It's basic, it's amazing. Pigmented, blendable, everything I look for in an eyeshadow, so 
love an Anastasia eyeshadow in general, but this palette has got a lot of use this year, or last year. Okay, something I didn't expect. I just thought, oh, I'll just give those a go. The eyeshadow is actually really fire and buttery and blendable and just amazing. And that's the Kim K Kardashian makeup brand, KKW. Amazing. So I have both Mario palettes because I love Mario. I think he's amazing. So this is the original. I love this palette more than the other one. This is amazing. It's buttery. It's blendable. Just oh, pigmented. Like, oh, amazing. And then this is the new one, the Artist and the, Mu the Muse one. I haven't used this one as much as that one, but this is fire too. So again, so pigmented, like. Oof. Kim's out here with Mario making amazing products. And I don't expect anything less from Mario, to be honest. Jeffree Star makeup, it's never gonna fail me. It's amazing. So we've got Blood Sugar here. This is like the OG, like amazing Jeffree palette. Like I had them all. Beauty Killer, Androgyny, Thirsty, Alien, all of them. But this one, oh. These are pressed pig pigments. These are eyeshadows. These are fire. They're amazing. Just, if you can get your hands on this palette, you need it. It's amazing. Blue Blood. Never, ever, like, will I pick any other blue eyeshadows for a stock standard blue look. Um, unless I'm trying out a palette. Um... This is amazing, incredible, everything I wanted, and more. Stunning. And then of course, the one that broke the internet this year, the Conspiracy palette from Shane Dawson. I used it earlier. This is my second look of the day. Um, this is incredible. The thought that went into this palette, the color scheme, how it's so different from- Okay, and then my bloody microphone fucked up I don't know what is happening I bought a new microphone and I've used it maybe four times and the microphone doesn't work all the time so I might have something to take it back to the shop or I don't know what to do but um as you can see here I am swatching a shade it's Trisha it's fire like oh my god look at my face look, stunning anyway so I'm gonna cut it the video now but just you know what to do follow me on all my social medias all that fun stuff, but like, you already know that drill, so I'm gonna leave you to it. Let's cut to my end slate. Bye guys! <laughs>